Sometimes you think of a brilliant idea. Like an app that tracks flight and traffic information so you're never late to grab someone from the airport. Or something that you need to do. I forgot Lily at the airport. Oof. And you have to jot it down before you forget next time. That's why we created Google Keep, so you can easily capture your thoughts anytime, anywhere. Whether you're on a conference call, at the park, or you're filming. I'll have you know, I come up with some of my best ideas when we're filming. Fair enough. In a previous episode, we went over the basics of Google Keep, but since then, a whole slew of new features have been added. After we discuss each one, we'll provide a link for you to learn more right at the bottom of the screen. Now, Google Keep is available at keep.google.com and as a mobile app on both Android and iOS. Whatever the platform, I just start typing to take a new note. But Keep can track more than just text. It can also collect images, lists, and even drawings. If I want to create a new image note, I just click on the image icon and then choose an image from my computer or phone. In the mobile app, I can either select an image from my library or take a new photo from the note. Or if I think a quick sketch or simple diagram will be more helpful, I can choose to draw. The drawing tool lets me switch between pen, marker, and highlighter, as well as different colors and sizes. A masterpiece, call the MoMA. Thank you. And if I'm putting together a list, click this icon to create one. All three of these features can also be added to an existing note. Simply go to the dot menu and then click on add image, add drawing, or show checkboxes to turn it into a list. If I'm using a mobile app and it's not convenient to type it out, I can also create notes with my voice. I just hit Google Keep, hit the speaker icon, and start talking when the microphone appears. An algorithm that accounts for if they've checked bags or not. Also, add Swedish fish to my grocery list. Any note that I create with my voice gives me both an audio recording and a text transcript. And while I can only create voice notes on the mobile app, I can view, edit, or delete them on any device. Another feature of the mobile app is the ability to capture online content as a note. When I find online content I like to save to Keep, I tap Share and then select Keep. If Keep doesn't show up on your list of apps when you select Share, then you'll need to enable it. The new Chrome extension for Google Keep works the same way. If a certain website inspires me, I just click the Google Keep icon in the upper right and type in my new note. It automatically saves the note to Google Keep and embeds a link to the website I'm currently on. It's always been easy to share notes with others by just clicking the share button and then typing in their names and email addresses. But now it's even easier to share through the G Suite core products such as Gmail, Drive, and Docs. Now I can finally share my wisdom with the world. Your wisdom around Swedish fish? The wisdom isn't about the Swedish fish, it's about freezing them. Oh. I click on my note, then the More icon, and select Copy to new Google Doc. If I'm on the mobile app, I just click Send and then select either Google Doc or another app. To copy the note to another product, tap Send via Other Apps and pick the product's app. When I'm inside my Google Doc, I select Keep Notepad from the Tools menu to pull up a sidebar of all my relevant notes. I can edit the notes or drag and drop them into my document. And this integration works in both directions, so I can also highlight text in my doc, right-click, and select Save to Keep Notepad. Or, if I want to create a new note from scratch while inside Google Docs, I simply start typing in the Take a Note box in the notepad. If you want to learn more about Google Keep's new features or revisit what we discussed today, here's a link to the guide about Google Keep in our Learning Center. And if you're a Keep master, let us know how you're using it in the comments below. See you next week. Keep on keeping on. Oh boy. The only thing is that we're getting ready to launch in a week and I have to train new folks quickly and efficiently, but we're also based in different locations. That sounds like a job for the Transformation Gallery. Check it out.